Heals welcomes you to the third Euro Symposium on Healthy Aging. Heals is the largest non-governmental organization in Europe promoting and advocating scientific research into longevity and biogerontology. Thanks to generous support from our sponsors, Heals was able to organize this conference. The conference will highlight the cutting edge of knowledge in the field of biogerontology and provide a unique opportunity for researchers, government officials, biotech executives and advocates from around the world to meet, network and forge new scientific collaborations. Okay, uh, good morning. I would just like to um, shortly talk about the so-called cost uh, proposal, uh, which I'm now about to um, write an application for. The cost is a networking program um, financed through the Horizon 2020 research grant program of the European Commission. And uh, two years ago, uh, one friend of mine already tried a proposal from the technical side. It was actually very successful, but there was kind of critique that the, the number of research institutions and, and researchers was too, too low. So that's because I, I would like to advertise a bit on that. So, as I said, it's from the European Commission um, framework and it finances cooperation between uh, researchers of various uh, disciplines. So, this one will focus on um, healthy aging and um, biogerontology research. What is research is networking, like conferences like this, but even a larger and even more international scale. It is also open for right now for 36 members to actively uh, participate, which includes all the European Union countries, but also UK's included Switzerland, Turkey, Israel, and international partners like the US, Japan, China, South Korea, India, Brazil, and um, others, and also for non-registered registered, um, countries like, say, Russia, it is always possible for researchers to get into the network. So it, if um, the grant is successful, it will be 130,000 euro per year for a four-year period um, for financing networking, summer schools, and other kinds of events. But it does not fund the research itself. It may fund like we're getting together to um, think about a new research proposal or exchange data or, or get together to, to draft um, a research concept. But the research itself is not funded. But maybe out of this, a new grant can be developed to, to apply. So I, I started with a cost proposal, so with, with all the um, argumentative issues, which I need to deliver on December 1st, um, 2016. And what I'm actually interested is in would be also your ideas and your contributions to such a network. So actually, the goal for us with here, uh, here is, first of all, um, it's a working title acronym, since we need to find some, um, how to say, some, some um, abbreviation with some titles. So it's just working title. So I choose Sapphire for Scientific Association for promoting health span improvements through research and development. So I did on purpose not use terms like life extension or things like that. I used health span improvements because it's also in line with what the European Commission is actually also after as they have in their strategy until 2020 to increase the healthy lifespan of all Europeans by at least two years. So it's open for interpretation how you interpret the increase of lifespan. So, and, and it's about advancing um, the networking and the, the um, 
exchange of researchers like um, with, with the previous um, presentation, I, I realized that it makes sense that researchers with, with different um, ideas in research areas have a better exchange because as I know many researchers are just in one field, say Alzheimer's, dementia, another researcher is with, with another biomarker for aging or whatever and they never really communicate and when they get together they might find similarities in their research and advance also the overall research on healthy aging. So, and, and also there are many conferences that could be financed through this as well as say workshops with students for say bioinformatics classes or other issues that could really be helpful then also for the research institutions and their uh, specific research. So, and actually this is uh, what is a goal to Im improve the biogerontology um, branch of aging research right now. It's very much ICT focused, like assistive technology, and I think it's also important for the biotech and the bioscience communities to have a greater say in it. So, actually, we need research institutions, especially research institutions, um, or RTOs, research technology organizations on basic and applied research with a high scientific reputation, because this was a bit of the critique uh, point of the last proposal. So, for example, if someone is in, say, um, ELA or HEALS, and at the university, so maybe it would be better to sign up through the university um, profile. We would like to have dedicated members who would like to actively dedicate some time in bringing in research ideas, in organizing conferences even bigger like that one because it will be funded and, and also may come up with new research ideas, data exchange, ideas about how to better validate, for example, some, some um, data and, and some research findings. So on, on the formal side, so I will just be there and push the submit button. But then if we are successful, um, we also need then some grant holder who is formally responsible for managing this and for doing um, as a sci um, scientific and financial representative. So, um, and, and therefore we would like to have volunteers who would like um, to actively participate in it or provide some nice ideas. Um, we will have some questionnaires here which we will give you where you can put in some of your information to contact you and uh, if and what you would like to contribute in regard to such a program and everyone who will providing some networking input will get a three printed token or something Anton please explain Oh, <laughs> well, maybe you can switch. Yep. Uh, yeah, so, so. The, the, the idea is that, yeah, so to make it more fun, we create a little bit of gamification. So, yeah, we collect your, you know, you can go feeling this. Could you go by the mic, please? Could Sorry? You go by the mic. Could you go by the mic? Oh, um, yeah. So we can I thought so that was loud. <laughs> yeah, idea. so uh, the idea is that you uh, fill in these forms and uh, we can uh, then contact you and you can invite you to the network. So there is eCost online platform and if you are in the network with one of your affiliations then you can, uh, as soon as we will, as we will win, uh, you will be able to get uh, cost funding and uh, uh, use it for conferences, exchange programs, uh, publications, and many other things that Miriam mentioned. 
And as often when you give questionnaire, people, while well, they sometimes get excited and then they go home and then they have work to do and they uh, forgot about this. So we had some reward that if you will uh, fill in those questionnaires and provide your ideas and also your projects that you want to be funded by cost before the end of the conference, you will get this nice 3D printed uh, SEP fires with eternity sign as a reward. And uh, they will be uh, here very soon. We are waiting for the supply. So you have a temporary token that we will just this kind of uh, handmade thing that uh, we, we can give you now if you will fill it in and then you will exchange it to 3D printed souvenir. Right, Miriam? Yeah. Okay. So, thank you very much and I hope uh, many of you got interested and are willing to do some contribution to this once in a lifetime chance to do something on a real high level thing and get financed through the European Commission. Thank you, Miriam and Luca. So we have time for one question. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is it for researchers? Is it for also the industry, some companies? And what uh, if people have several choices other than the ILA or HILS, uh, would you have some preferences? Uh, okay, it's, it's basically open for researchers as, as well as um, companies. SME, um, NGOs, whatever. The only thing with the last time was there were too many NGOs and they criticized it a bit. So if you are an affiliate with an NGO and with a, a company or research organization, so it may be preferable to sign up uh, with your research organization and your other question. Okay.